Hi, welcome to Premium Beat. My name is Rubidium. Despite everybody's best intentions, the boom mic occasionally slips into frame in your footage and needs to be removed in post. You can do this by just cropping in on the top and bottom of your footage, but sometimes this is a less than perfect solution and you actually want to remove it digitally. Today we're going to look at two versions, one in Adobe Premiere and a more sophisticated version in Blackmagic's DaVinci Resolve. So here we see the mic dip in at about two and a half seconds. What I'm gonna do is select the layer I'm in, go up here to my effect controls, uh, just get a basic square mask. Then I'll come down to say 50% and I'll make sure I'm selecting everything that is gonna be not just the mic, but the shadow as well. You see the shadow comes in over here. Let's make it a little bit wider. I want to make sure I get all the way down. Then I'll pull out my feather, same thing as the mask feather over here. And then I'll hit inverted. So now you see I have a big hole in my footage, but I don't see the mic. I'm going to drag my video up to um, the second layer. I'm going to go over here uh, to the start of the clip where the mic wasn't showing and I'm just going to click the FX opacity off so we don't see anything. Then I'm going to hit Shift E while I'm clicked in the uh, timeline. Shift E. Select uh, PNG so that it doesn't uh, mess with our color space. Make sure Import into Project is selected. Hit OK. Now we should have our um, still, which is a clean plate and I'm dragging that down to track one. I'm making sure it's the same length as track two. Our mic still jumps in, but now we're gonna turn our mask back on. And now we have a clean plate. I'll turn off the bottom track so you can see what's happening. Is the, our motion is on the top track with this hole cut in it. And then underneath is a still of the start of the locked off image. So that essentially functions as our clean plate. That is a really easy way to get rid of the boom in Adobe Premiere uh, where the camera doesn't move. For a moving shot, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve with a slightly more complex, busier background shot. You see the camera pans up and finds the mic as it pans or tilts. So this is much more a camera operator error scenario um, than a boom operator error, but, uh, and we have a much more complex background. So we're gonna see what we can do with this. Here it is in the timeline. I'm gonna jump across to our color tab. We see we have our color grade already gone. So we're gonna add a hit option S to add another node. We're gonna go over here to our um, window tool, hit get a mask, find the place where it's most revealed, which I'd say is the last frame. Then I'm gonna draw a loose mask around the uh, mic. I'll make the softness on the inside, which will still keep us out of trouble. Then I'll go across to my tracker and track forward, which is not far, and then I'm gonna track backwards. But we, we have a little bit of a problem here. When the tracker, when the thing, um, the mic exits the frame, the tracker sticks around for the rest of the shot. So how to get rid of that? I'm gonna wait till the last frame, which is here. In my tracker, I'm gonna go across the frame and I'm just gonna manually move that out. I'll slowly come back in. Okay, great, so now I have a track. What else do I need to do to get a, uh, a clear background? I'll set this back to fit. I need to, add an alpha output, drag my alpha to my new alpha. And then here in the key, I need to click my inversion. So now I'd need, I just have a frame that's missing where the mic should be. I will go back now to my edit tab. I'm gonna drag this holding down um, option to the second tab, much like we did in um, Premiere, then 
clicking on my second tab here, I'm gonna get rid of my key node. And in my sizing, I'm just gonna pan across in my frame until I find something that sort of matches with what I have. It doesn't want, you don't want to, you want to be too close because then your brain, the person's brain will read that these two things are identical. But I'm just going to go across a little bit further and maybe even try and match these two up. So now as I tilt, as I play through the clip, let's make it a little bit full screen so you guys can see. There it is, a invisible microphone on a uh, tilt up. That was two versions of removing a boom mic from your footage digitally. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.